Hey guys, D. Allen here with Women Through in Leather, and this is the 3-Minute Breakdown. Jessica Andrade versus Angela Hill. Thanks in part to the UFC for waiving an anti-doping policy that applied to Angela Hill, this fight is back on. Now looking at what both fighters are bringing to this fight, this looks to be an incredible battle. Angela over Kale Hill. She is the current Invicta FC strawweight champion and former world kickboxing champion who is also trained in Muay Thai, making her as a legit striker as they come. Now she does have some ground skills, and no I didn't say ground squirrels, I said ground skills, but she is predominantly a striker. She's very light on her feet and is constantly moving and pushing forward to stalk her opponents in this kind of a stick and move fighting style. Jessica Bate Estaca Andraj. Hey, you know, Bate Estaca means pile driver in Portuguese. Now that Jessica Andraj is firmly embedded in the strawweight division, it definitely looks like a better fit for her. And with her recent string of wins, she definitely looks right at home. Now, Jessica Andraj is a physically strong, aggressive, and bullish type fighter who is well rounded. Hey, you know, seven of her wins are by submission. So she got skills on the ground. Now what Angela Hill is bringing to this fight is incredible footwork and cage movement. She's very light on her feet and she's constantly moving, which makes her a difficult target to hit. Another thing I've noticed about Angela Hill is that she has this ability to read and almost anticipate her opponent's oncoming strikes to get out of the way so she doesn't get hit, which in a fight is very, very important. Now in terms of her striking, she has this unorthodox style of striking where her strikes kind of come out of nowhere and she does these angles and it really catches her opponents off guard because the strikes seemingly come out of nowhere. Now as far as Jessica Andrade and what she brings to this fight, is she has this bum rush style which has her opponents backing up against the cage where she traps them like some helpless woodland creature where she can stand there and just unload a barrage of shots. She's also tough and very durable. She can take a shot and walk right through it. Because of how physically strong she is, she's really good in the clinch. Now because of her physical strength, she's very dominating on the ground, where she can easily maintain top control, where she can work her jiu-jitsu and submission skills. So the challenge I see in this fight for Hill is that she needs to stay on the outside and avoid the bum rush style that Jessica Andrade is probably going to bring. If she can do that, she can avoid the takedown where she's really going to get into trouble if she gets taken down. Now the challenge for Jessica Andrade is going to be to absorb some of those shots to take those strikes that Angela Hill is going to throw at her so that she can get inside to get that clinch to push her to the cage where she can do the most damage or take her to the ground and work her jiu-jitsu and submission skills on her. All right, guys. Guys, those are my thoughts on this matchup between Jessica Andrade and Angela Hill. Now let me know yours in the comments section below. Once again, I am D. Allen. Thanks for watching Women Throwing Leather. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, you guys are awesome.